Welcome back, everyone, to more Buck Rogers Matrix Cubed. We are back in the Salvation. Actually, we did not want to go to the Purge headquarters quite yet, so I backtracked us. That's why it might seem strange that we're not in the purple hauled uh, base or whatever the fuck. So anyways, we actually are going to go to the Luna base on Copernicus Station first. Um, that is one of the two missions that Buck Rogers has assigned to us. So let's go ahead and fuel up. And get out of here. And then fly right back. Your ship is impounded. Report to the Tenant Jenner. Go out and do east. You reach Dr. Calder as she is about to enter a jet car. What do you do? In response, she says, I was warned that others were after my secret. Sorry, but Neo has my services. She enters the jet car. What do you do? Two men into the car. As it speeds away to the north, you notice the name Psy Weaponry emblazoned on the back. Yeah, I don't think we want to grab her. That probably will piss people off. A gray suited man looks up. Who are you here to see? Lieutenant Jenner. Ah, yes. Go right and straight. A man in Luna Gray shakes your hand. Welcome, sorry about your ship, but there are a few problems. I know that you are new operatives seeking Dr. Kodar. We have excellent information. There are criminals I can't touch. You help me nail them and you can have Dr. Kodor. He continues and you record it as logbook entry 37. Uh, whoops. No, come on. What the fuck is it double clicking for? Jesus, age Christ. My superior Chief McKay, the local Senator Coy, and the CEO of Psy Weaponry, Mr. Psy, are involved in a major operation. I know that it is illegal and probably has interplanetary dimensions. I have no superiors I can trust, so if I actively investigate, I will be dismissed from the force. The only chance for justice is to break in on them together with incriminating evidence. Rifle their computer records at the data bank and go through their offices and homes. When you have enough evidence, call them up and set up a meeting. Once they are together with your evidence, I will stage a raid. I'll let you collect Dr. Kodor and get you safely off of Luna. The only help I can offer is this forged badge. It can't be connected to me. If you get into trouble, call me. I will misdirect the hunt for you. Don't return here if you are in trouble. I'll be forced to deny any connection between us. Here's the forged badge. Get Koi McKay and Sai. Thank you. All right, so we got a little detective work we get to do on this mission. Senator Coy, political office. The video phone here. Do you wish to use it? Sure. Who do you call? Let's call Scott. Go to the data bank. We'll try to worm in from the side. An operative greets you. Good day. Do you have authorization? I'll leave you to do your research, officer. Ooh, who's our computer guy? Uh... Probably one of these two nerds here. Library search? I don't know. I don't know if that's going to count. Maybe? You get a readout on numerous awards and citations. Your attempt fails. Okay, maybe maybe that's not the computer person. Mm. 
Command operations. Uh, I don't know what skill we're looking for here. Did I not train in computers at all? Bypass security. All right, I looked it up. It is library search. So we got 72. This is our best bet. Our only bet is going to be with clot. You find a mention of a book in the desk. You find the mention of a list of stocks hidden in his office. I think we have to do this research here before the stuff will show up in their place. You locate some information you recorded as logbook entry 50. Mutagen is proving highly viable. Nearly all species show rapid growth and become ambulatory. We are still perfecting the herbicide. The current staff is unstable, so we'd be unable to deliver it to the Neo sites on Earth. Without the herbicide, Neo will be unable to protect their base, or become heroes by rescuing other settlements. That cyborg proves to me that Neo can be realistic, despite their idealistic propaganda. I have never met someone so willing to sacrifice people to achieve a goal. Sometimes he scares me. Logbook 71 for Cold War. Coldor. Dr. Coldor's computer file. The cyborg is very ambitious. He sees a perfect new Earth following the completion of our Project 3. The plant mutagen will give the Earth a common enemy with Neo's monopoly on the herbicide. Everyone will quit bickering and unite under Neo's banner. Then the unlimited power of the Matrix device can be used to return Earth to the utopia that it was. I'm impressed with the array of scientific information brought to bear on the Matrix device. I'm somewhat sad that I have nearly completed my part. Luna Security is watching a suspected Neo spy. He is described as cybernetic. I think that's it. Spend your time hunting the bad guys. I don't think, yeah, I'm guessing the rest of the information is repeatable. A young man looks up. I'm Udu. The senator's assistant may I help you. The senator's not in just now. You may wait in his office while I try to reach him. You quickly search the office. You find illegal stock transfers linking the senator to Psy Weaponry. You have the evidence you need. Udu enters. I'm sorry, but the senator Koi will not be in. Leave when you wish. Well, we can leave now because I got the evidence I need. Proprietor comes up. May I help you? Let's see what you got. Oh, yeah. You may not help me. Thank you. Have a nice day. Luxury goods and foods. Okay. But I guess I can't buy any. The white whale. The bar is dim and hazy. Bleary-eyed patrons slump in their chairs. Do you mingle? A greasy mechanic whispers, Saw Sai talking with an earther. He's in Neo's pocket. McKay's residence. The house is nicely decorated. No one is home. I guess everyone just leaves their doors unlocked. The study contains a real mahogany desk with real mahogany books. 
You find a secret bank book listing dozens of payments from Psy. You have the evidence you need. The robo chef looks disused. A quick search reveals nothing. We better get out of here before we get busted. Training facility. Well, we have no reason to go there yet. Psy weaponry. Secretary sits behind a huge desk. Welcome to Psy Weaponry. Do you have an appointment? Yes, I do. I'm sorry, officer, but the police chief said you were recalled. Talk with him. Sai's house is built in an open style filled with opulent artwork. A quick search reveals dog shit. Okay. Set up the meeting. I'll be ready. I guess we didn't need a uh, anything else besides that. Chief's office is to the left. Okay, looks up. All right, what do you want? A cut. Her work is essential to us. Still meet me at Coy's offices. We will discuss it. Koi McKay and Sai are sitting here. Koi states, So, what can we do to keep you quiet? Before anyone can react, the Lieutenant General and dozens of police flood into the room, and he recorded his logbook entry 67. Busted, bitch! The three conspirators promptly begin to protest as the police level their guns. Lieutenant General waves the evidence before them, and they fall silent. Lieutenant General smiles as the conspirators are handcuffed and led away. He turns to you, excellent work. I should be sending units into Psy weaponry, but I'll delay until you have a chance to get Dr. Colder out. Then you will be escorted back to your ship and off Luna. If you were to stay there longer, Coy or McKay could whip up public support. Lunarians do not approve of outworlders and their violence. He then returns to clearing up the scene. Jenner says, Dr. Coldor is inside Psy Labs. Which I guess is where we are headed now. to the main research section. You see a partially familiar face. Next to him stands an apprehensive Dr. Colder. He gives a metallic laugh. Fools, your futile struggles do not impress me. I have drained this misguided scientist of her knowledge. The doctor gives a start. What, what, what do you mean? With a laugh, he continues, and you recorded his logbook entry seven. 
Neo's propaganda has served Purge well. I recruited this scientist on your reputation. The pap of genetic mongols living in harmony with the pure race fools so many people. They are blind to the inevitability of conflict. Either the pure strain will survive on Sully or humanity will revert to packs of mindless animals. Now Purge has the mutagen needed to cleanse the earth. Soon the Matrix device will be ours. Dr. Koldor's part is complete. Then Purge can cleanse the solar system and return man to the greatness that is his birthright. With a laugh he continues... And before anyone can react, he thrusts her through the left door and disappears around the corner. The sound of doors ceiling echo through the complex. Oh, we get a map, finally. Save on B there. Alright, we are inside the Psy Weaponry Labs. Let's do the damn thing. Save on C as well. The door has been sealed by a security program. What do you do? Uh, who's our bypasser? The door does not open. But it does on your second try. The room is filled with racks of advanced electronic equipment. Genie Shamble Ford cord you. Fuckers hit hard. Well, you got a line of sight for him at least. Alright, big wounds on Trog, unfortunately. But hey, good XP. We need good XP at this point.
Come on, man, make that fucking roll. Wow! I think we'll only be able to get attacked one at a time, so... We'll just keep in formation. Getting tore up from the floor up. That motherfucker came down quick. It's got too stupid to come in here. This lab has seen recent use and is in terrible disarray. Dr. Coldor is against the wall, menaced by strange plant genies. The creatures seem to be scared by something she's holding. The plants turn and attack you instead. You say fuck all that noise. Boom shakalaka. Welcome to the needle gun ghetto! Dead bitch. God, they can do fucking shit tons of damage if they hit, man. Just chopped fucking Luxter down. Dr. Coldor comes over holding a palm-sized device. I was able to hold the plants off with this Hummer. You got a hand-sized Hummer? Holy shit. It is a prototype I'm developing. She continues in your record it in logbook entry 46. 
and I'm glad I didn't tell that cybernetic asshole about my new invention. I call this the Hummer. These mutated plants recoil from its sounds. Unluckily, after our first few uses, it tends to short out. Only one other exists. It is in the first lab along the main corridor. She turns to a computer terminal. The mutagen turns common plants into these walking hulks. The cyborgs release the mutagen. The cyborg released the mutagen in the first part of the labs and is preparing to launch my ship, along with the new herbicide, the mutagen, and my matrix research. I am releasing the mutagen into the area so that his troops will have to fight them as well. She turns back to you. I'm going to make my way through the air system to the ship. Take the main corridors, pick up the Hummer, and get to the ship before it launches. If we all try to take the air shafts, he will be long gone. So I will try to slip through the air shafts while you use the corridor. The other Hummer is in the first lab. The launch bay is on the far side of the complex. Good luck. She crawls into a very narrow shaft. You notice a few demo charges on the table. You find components that could be used to repair the Hummer. Oh, what the fuck was that, dude? That's not what I wanted to fucking happen. <laughs> fucking cocksucker, stay off clock. They're throwing these fuckers at me. Right, everyone looks fully healed to me. Find the second Hummer prototype. The plants stagger away. I guess we I guess we uh, got it working. The Hummer sparks and it's why and it fades to silence. The creatures advance. Oh man, this shit only worked one fucking time. What the fuck?
repair electrical. I think that's going to be Ron Stuck. You failed despite using the spare parts. Oh no. Does that, does that mean I'm fucked? I wonder if I get to try to repair it after every fight. I don't know. A guard came in handy. The security office is abandoned. Controls wing silently on the right wall. This is the security console. The doors can be unsealed from here. Do you wish to override the security? Uh, who is bypass security? That's uh, that's one of our desert runners. Trog, I think. No, he's our stealthy guy. Zag is. Doors hiss open in the distance. All right, Zach, good job. I think that opens all the uh, all the stuck doors. Get to you get to use a lot of your skills in this particular mission. You have entered the main control bunker. A mechanical voice counts down. These are the environmental controls. From here you can reprogram the computer to refuse to open the spaceport dome or to spray herbicide. Do you try? Yeah, of course. Uh... Plot succeeds at isolating the dome controls. Anyone who wishes to launch a spaceship will need to open the doors manually. All right. I couldn't remember if Clot was our programmer, but apparently she is with 82. Cloud activates the herbicide dispensaries. Dispensers. A plant, a genie, stumbles into the room. Disintegrating from the toxic spray, it dissolves into a puddle of shit. Clot and claw getting close to a level. 
quite a lot of experience to get to that level 10. All right, but we've done all we can do to make things easier for us. Um, let's go ahead and drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. When you got a feeling there's a fight in the next room. A really good feeling. Don't fuck this up. Save on Jay. In the center of the room is a small spacecraft. Purge commandos are loading the last of the stack of metal canisters. Others are in the rafters trying to retract the dome. You haven't been noticed yet. What do you do? You spot the cyborg at the top of the gantry, overseeing the final loading. The head pokes out from an air shaft. You recognize it as Dr. Koldor. She mouths, distract them. What do you do? Fucking attack, I guess. Commandos aid the cyborg. However, many of them are up working on the dome and unable to help. Oh shit, is that it? That's what we get for fucking the dome up in the computer room. There would have been a lot more. Had we not have done that. I only see this small group up here. <laughs> oh shit, son! got no one to help you. You are fucked, Captain Commando. Oh, <laughs> you got heat gun, bitch. Got him. He's got that Lunarian, I believe he's got a Lunarian needle gun. You know, you know we want that. No, we want that shit. <laughs> ah, it's game over. Is that bitch, you better have that fucking Oh man, they're not gonna give it to me? You kidding me? Please tell me I'm just not seeing it. No way. He doesn't drop the Lunarian needle gun? That is caca bullshit. Wow, dude. That is bullshit. Oh, because he's not technically dead, I guess. The badly crippled cyborg crawls toward the ship. Suddenly, alarms blare as the rocket engines spring to life. You barely reach cover as the ship blasts the dome. Nothing but slag is left below it. Scott contact contacts you. Just smoking with Dr. Coldor. She is taking the equipment to Neo. I have given her coordinates. Police soon arrive. You are given a small reward as they hustle you along. 
small reward. I'll take that. How about that um, Lunarian needle gun? No needle gun, motherfucker! The mono swords will take for sure. I guess they're not going to just give us the, the best of the best right now. The police are friendly but firm. You'll be remembered well, but Luna is a fragile place. Please, not to return soon. You board your ship and you launch into space like a bad motherfucker. Your departure from Luna goes smoothly. Suddenly, there's an explosion and the engine sputters once before shutting off. The Maelstrom Rider is adrift. Another explosion occurs and you lose sensor. The computer warns critical radiation levels. Recommend evacuation using escape pod on this level. What the fuck is going on? Let's go down to the computer level. Fuck it. The computer throws sparks. A screen displays soaring radiation levels. As you watch, the line rises into the critical area of the graph. The panel displays damage to most of the ship. The computer blares, unknown malfunction and engineering. Explosion imminent. Get the fuck out of Dodge. Heat makes access to the lower levels impossible. You are forced back. We gotta get the fuck out of Dodge. Probability of vessel destruction is 99% advised immediate evacuation. As you enter the escape pod, the computer says, losing energy containment field. The airlock begins cycling. The computer begins a countdown for destruction. The escape pod separates from the Maelstrom Rider with a jolt. Seven is the last number you hear. From the view screen, you watch your ship waiting for its destruction. It doesn't explode. You watch in amazement as the Maelstrom Rider sails gracefully out of sight. Even as your ship's exhaust fades to a point of light, another more vividly colored ship approaches. The sleek scout cruiser fastens to your pod with a clang. You can see the word Rogue painted on its side. Soon the airlock cycles and a voice calls. We're not from Ram. Will you meet us? You exit the pod, the airlock sealing behind you. The meeting will take place soon. The man leaves to the west. Welcome to the Rogue. I'm Killer Kane. You may call me Mr. Kane. It is most unfortunate your ship had such difficulties. I've had difficulties of my own, recently involving a Mercurian crystal shipment of mine. Destroyed by a team of gung-ho Neo spies. He quirks an eyebrow ironically. Of course, I'm sure you'd know nothing of that. Anyhow, now that we've understand each other, I have a proposition. He continues, and you record his offer as Logbook 35. I've heard of a Matrix device, but that is not my interest at the moment. I require your assistance. I'll give you access to a key RAM military installation in return for your help. You may also have some personal monetary gains that you would not learn of. 
The Rambatir Diamos is transporting high-level Mercurian officials to Mars. I have, let us say, differing views from them. My agents on the Diamos require distraction while they attend to these unnecessary delegates. I would like you to place a strategic explosive. My agents will inform you of the proper location when you're on the Deimos. The explosive is controlled remotely by my agents. Once it is in place, leave the immediate area to avoid injury. When they are ready to settle matters with the delegates, they will detonate the explosive. In summary, I offer you a ram stronghold in return for your aid. Can my agents aboard the ram battler rely on your assistance? Kane nods. Excellent. I'll let you get onto the Deimos and my agents will contact you. My assistant will escort you back to your escape pod. The airlock closes loudly and you are set free. You float aimlessly for almost an hour. Suddenly, the pod lurches in the pool of a tractor beam. You cannot see the source. The pod comes to rest on the landing dock. A high-powered sonic stunning device screeches into action. You lose consciousness. You awake alone. Alone with the bone. A bone throne. We will save on D for D's nuts. There's a shuffle on the other side of the prison door. A voice whispers, Kane told us to expect you. We smuggled in your weapons. Don't forget the deal. Get out of the cell quick before Ram realizes you're the group with the price on your head. The explosive device is with you. Get to the backup weapons control through the air shafts. In the civilian elevator, the explosive will signal when it's in position. You hear him leave. The shaft leads downwards. Descend. You have an entered elevator. A panel lights up. Primary wreck or secondary wreck or guest quarters. The lift hums into action smoothly and you arrive on your floor. Where, though, is the fucking question? This makes things much easier. The room obviously belongs to someone of high rank. A man is sleeping on the wide bed. Beside him is a ram security guard. You grab the card, but the man sits up. He blinks the sleep out of his eyes and hits the alarm beside him. Fuck. Remember to equip your weapons. Ah. Let's see, what's this what's this doing? 1d8 plus 4. Or 
versus 1d12 plus 1. Probably has a better chance to hit, I would imagine. It's got a better minimum damage either way. But that don't mean shit if you can't hit with it. Now oh, fuck that mono sword. Give me back my awesome needle needle guns. Wait, we want the Mercurian. <laughs> Fuck these robots up. Good night. Hopefully the alarm turns off after that, I'm okay. kind Bunch of Martian shit, I'm not interested. Alright, well we got the uh, card. Unfortunately, I th since we set off the alarm, that, that could be a problem. But you know what? Fuck it. You guys are on the wrong deck. Report to your commanding officer. Uh, who's good with bullshitting? I think Lug Lug is. Fast talk and convince. Yeah. Come on, you got this, Lug Lug. Yeah, Lug Lug! He nods obscure excuse. Carry on. The door requires a high-level RAM security card. The door scans the card and the security panel lights up. For an access code, try to bypass security. way to get past is if Zagalov doesn't fail. Dude, he's got 60-something on his bypass. Give me a fucking break. What if you... How the fuck else do you... Do, finally! I don't think there's another way to get in there. The technician yells, They're not from weapons control! Fuck them up! Alright, we don't want these security robots beaming the shit out of us with stun shit. Man, if we got some three Lunarian needle guns, we'd be rocking shit. It's my dream setup. Lunarian 
Needle guns and Lunarian battle armor with fields. This is a done deal, bitch. Toasted. 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 Ultra toasted. Fucked him up. I doubt they got anything, but let's take a look, see. Not shit. An indicator lights up on the explosive. We place it down. Oh, Jesus. What the f Fuck. Uh, demolitions? Probably Luxter. He secedes. Now we just want to get the fuck out of Dodge. Surrender? Yeah. You stand on the endless sandy plain. All your gear is taken. You have food, water, and medicine. The hazy sky is too bright to look at. Sand crunches underfoot. <laughs> what the fuck? I, th I think this had to happen. I don't know. I'll take a look at it. But yeah, I believe we're in a Mars prison at this point. And we need to find our shit. Yep, yep. I'm looking. I'm looking here and it looks like we can recover our weapons and stuff later. But right now we're stark naked under the sun. On Mars. See you soon with more Matrix Cubed. Boom shakalaka.